All right, guys, going to show you how to create Google Cloud API. With that, you're going to have to sign up for Google Cloud Platform. The link is in the description below. After you have signed up, you'll be at the console. You're going to have to navigate over here to Product and Services. Click on that, and the menu pops up. Here we're going to hover over IAM and Admin, and then Service Accounts. Here we're going to have to create a service account. Name it whatever you want. And we're going to have two roles. The first role, oh, roles. The first role is going to be Compute Engine and Compute Admin. And then the second role is Project Editor. So Compute Engine, Compute Admin, Project Editor. Uh, I simply like a number in the end. Gonna go with that and then furnish a new private key, a JSON key type. Create and it downloads. Go back to proxy units under Google Cloud API. We're gonna have to upload the JSON file. So choose file, navigate to your downloads, and in my case it's gonna be this file update and it has successfully updated. Go back to Google Cloud. We're going to be at the dashboard. Click on this menu again. Go down to VPC networks and then firewall rules. Here we're going to have to create a firewall rule. Click on this. Again, name it whatever you want. targets, all instances in the network, and then source IP ranges. Here you're going to have to put your home IP address. If you don't know what your IP address, a simple Google search gives you that answer. What is my IP address? And it gives you your IP address. So paste that in there. Then specify protocols and ports. And then here we're going to put TCP colon 3128. Create. Um, yeah, well, anyways, you're going to create it and then it will successfully create a firewall rule. And then that, that is how you create an API. All right, guys, before you can contact Google to get an increase on the um, instances you're gonna have to upgrade from the free trial to the bronze trial so with that you go to support overview upgrade and then upgrade to the bronze level with that you are now able to contact Google through the steps that you're about to see alright and to increase your instances you're gonna have to click on here hover over this quotas you're going to have to click two surfaces. First, I suggest going all the way down here, clicking on the 200. Okay. So, first is the CPUs. I suggest going with an East Coast server because that's where most of the servers, website servers, are located, is in the East Coast. One is perfectly fine, or four. In my case, I went with four. We're going to scroll down to end use IP addresses. And it's going to have to match that CPU. Let's see. A bit further down. Okay. Which is US East 4. End use IP addresses, US East 4. And then CPUs, US East 4. Edit quotas. Let me back up a little bit. Put your name, your email, and your phone number, then click next. I suggest going with a 200, starting off with a 200 quota limit for both of them. And then here you come up with a description indicating why you need this increase. 
and then submit your request and they should get back to you in a few days maybe even a few hours now for this part we are going to create a budget alert this is highly suggested whenever your $300 credits have been used so we're going to go to building budget and alerts here we're going to create a budget and whatever you want with me I will continue to have one project at all times I simply don't want to go over $25 every month I'm going to uncheck this so I don't mind the credits then here you can set up when you want to be emailed whenever a certain percentage is being used of that specified amount so at 50% I'm gonna be sent an email 90% and then 100% and then save and then that is how you get reminded turn off your instances so you won't go over a specified amount every month transactions is pretty useful it tells you step by step of how much you're spending 